What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back! In today's video we are checking out the latest portable Bluetooth speaker from Soundcore. The one that we have here today is called the Motion X500 and in a way this is kind of like the younger brother of the Soundcore Motion X600, so the one to my right here. I've actually done a video for the X600 here about two months ago I believe, so I'll leave a link to that video in the video's description. Talking about links I will also leave some links for the Soundcore Motion X500 in the video's description so you can check it out. So this speaker is a bit smaller and also a bit more affordable when compared to the Soundcore Motion X600. Since we have a smaller speaker of course it's gonna be easier to take this with you in more places I'm gonna say, so it's easier to put this in your backpack, maybe in a bag if you go on a motorcycle ride and you have limited storage, well it's gonna be easier to carry this speaker with you when compared to something like the Motion X600 here. Now even though this is um, somewhat smaller than the Motion X600 it still offers up to 12 hours um, of listening time on one charge, so really good battery life, and it also has an IPX7 waterproof rating. So yes, you can take this um, speaker to the beach, you can take it to the swimming pool and nothing will happen if it gets wet. Even though this is more affordable, it still offers wireless high-res audio and it has a 40 watt output. So inside the Motion X500 we have three full range drivers, one of them is here, one of them is here and one at the top here. And very importantly, and I feel that this makes a big difference, this speaker also offer some spatial audio. Next I want to play a quick um, recording here so you can hear how that spatial audio works. Now I'm not sure how well my microphone will be able to capture that but when I actually listen to it there is a massive difference when I have the spatial audio on. <laughs> So are you able to tell from those recordings? I know that recording the sound from a speaker through my microphone is not the easiest task out there, but when I actually listen to the spatial audio in person, not through that microphone, there is a massive, massive difference. All right, let's take a quick look at um, the speaker here. So the speaker is made out of a combination of metal, plastic, and some rubber. Some rubber we actually have at the bottom here. So we have two rubber legs, let's um, call them. So whenever you have this on a desk or on any surface, it's basically not gonna slide around when you have um, the speaker blasting basically. So even if it vibrates, it's not gonna move around. The front here looks absolutely beautiful. So as I said, this is made out of metal, the same as we had on the Motion X600. And I feel that it does make the speaker look more premium. So whenever you have this at home on a desk or somewhere, it just fits to the environment and it does look really, really cool. And it doesn't actually look like a speaker. Moving to the back of the speaker, the back of the speaker is made out of plastic. At the bottom here, we have a little rubber flap that covers the USB-C charging port. and another small difference between this and the Motion X600 here. So on the back of this one we only have that um, charging port, on the back of the Motion X600 we actually have a 3.5mm audio jack. 
so you could actually input uh, music into the X600, something that you cannot do with this one. So this one you're gonna have to use over Bluetooth basically. Just like on the Motion X600, at the top here we have a beautiful metallic handle. And of course having this makes some um, carrying the speaker much, much easier. So if you're walking somewhere with the speaker, having that handle definitely helps. Not to mention that it does look pretty cool with that handle in my opinion. Underneath that handle, we have all our buttons for the speaker. So we have the power button, we have the Bluetooth button, a button that you can change modes. We have um, volume higher or volume lower, pause and play, of course. And in the center here, you are seeing a colored LED. So this um, speaker is actually a bit customizable. Let's say the look of the speaker is a bit customizable because you can actually change that color here from the Soundcore app. So each um, sound mode has a different color and you can change that color for each sound mode. Of course, this way you actually know what mode you're in because you have the color that matches that um, sound mode. So the three sound modes that um, we have available, you basically change them from um, this button here. So the first one that we have here, it's called spatial signature. So I have this one set to green. If we push this button, it will change to a different color. As I said, you can customize those colors for um, each sound mode. So the second one is the spatial dynamic. And the last one I have it set to yellow. So that one is bass boost. Of course, if you're using that mode, the bass will be more powerful from from the speaker. So those are customizable from the Soundcore app and you can actually customize the sound exactly how you want. So there is a custom mode in there and you can modify basically everything the way the speaker sounds. So if none of those three sound modes are working out for you, basically you can customize the sound exactly how you want it. So from my understanding, the Motion X500 here is designed more as a portable speaker. I'm gonna say mostly if you're using that bass boost mod outdoors, the speaker does get really loud. It sounds really good when you're outdoors in an open space. Now the X600 here is the more powerful speaker. It's obviously a bit more expensive, a bit heavier, a bit larger, but I feel that that speaker is mostly designed for whenever you're listening to music indoors and you're really keen on the sound quality because the sound quality from the X600 is pretty impressive. So I feel that if you're that kind of person that goes outdoors a lot, you bring a speaker with you outdoors, the X500 will fit that lifestyle better. But if you're that kind of person that listens um, to music at home, maybe the X600 will be better for that kind of environment. I probably forgot to mention this earlier. So the Motion X500 here is using Bluetooth 5.3 and connectivity wise, it does work really well. It doesn't matter where I leave my phone, for example. So I can leave my phone in this room here and I can take the speaker in the furthest away corner of the apartment here and there are no connection issues whatsoever. So really good um, Bluetooth connectivity between this and my phone. Also, if you're using this or this with an Android device from the Soundcore app, you can also enable the LDAC codec. This is something that's not available for iPhone. And yes, I do use um, an iPhone with these um, two speakers. So as always, I'll leave some links in the video description so you can check out um, the Motion X500 and of course the Motion X600. So again, I feel that if you are that kind of person that uses their speaker outdoors mostly, this will probably be the better choice for outdoors use. But if you mostly use your speaker indoors, maybe the X600 here will offer better audio quality in a way. So it really depends what kind of a user you are. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.